Alert Kaepernick gets humiliating news, Patriots love it. Things have yet to get better for former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick. After Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson suffered a knee injury, the team needed to find a quarterback to replace him. According to the NFL, the Texans signed TJ Yates and Matt McGloin instead of Kaepernick. Coach Bill O'Brien stated that Tom Savage will take Watson's place with Yates as the backup starter in this Sunday's game against the Indianapolis Colts. The fact that McGloin has played under O'Brien when he coached at Penn State may have influenced his decision. Yates is an experienced quarterback who has played with the Texans previously. In 2011, he helped the team win their first playoff victory over the Cincinnati Bengals. Four of the six seasons he has played has been with the Texans. Unfortunately, O'Brien's decision may not improve Houston's situation, both McGloin and Yates did not perform well in the preseason. Their addition to the team may not be enough to give the Texans a successful season. Kaepernick's troubles with being signed by an NFL team has been prominent in the media ever since he left the 49ers. When he started kneeling for the national anthem last year to make a statement against police brutality against black men, it ignited a controversy about how one should protest. While the debate eventually died down, it was brought back into the spotlight when President Donald Trump expressed his disapproval with the protest two months ago. After the president made his comments, more players started to kneel for the national anthem, some of them only doing so to oppose Trump. We have also seen a few athletes in other sports protest in the same way. The NFL's viewership has seen a drastic decrease over the past year, and the numbers are still falling. Many believe that the protests are one of the main contributing factors to the decline in ratings, and they're probably right. In general, fans tune in to watch the game, not be lectured about politics. A few weeks ago, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell publicly stated that while he does not agree with the players' method of protest, he would not force them to stand for the national anthem. This only further angered many on the right, who believe the players who kneel for the anthem are deliberately disrespecting the country that has provided them with the opportunity to become millionaires for playing a sport. On the other hand, Many on the left have resorted to the classic liberal tactic of calling anyone who disagrees with them racist. They claim that the fact that Kaepernick's failure to be signed to a team is reflective of team owners' attitudes towards black people. The reality is that Kaepernick's plight has nothing to do with bigotry. The former quarterback made himself a controversial figure when he decided to protest by kneeling for the national anthem. His actions caused polarization in a sport that typically brings together Americans of all types of political beliefs. The fact that he does not perform as well as he used to is another reason he is not being signed. NFL teams have shown that they are only willing to sign a controversial player if they perform well. Kaepernick has not demonstrated that he has the skill to make himself worth the amount of controversy he would bring to the team that signed him and that is the reason he is not being signed. Being signed.